Derek Stingley drafted by the Houston Texans. Uh, this is shocking. I'm, I'm, I'm I shocked. can't believe it. I, I love him. I like the guy a lot, but at three? Wow. Do, does that just say they had an inkling that teams were going to come up for him? This doesn't fit Nick Casario's character. No, it's like, hey, we're like we're like Houston. We're Bill Belichick. We're right. New England. We're just going to get a big old ugly up there. I mean, if he hits, it's you got shut down corner, which is crazy. But look, if you're watching the draft right now and listening to me, all this tape you're watching isn't from the last two years. It's all freshman stuff. I just can't believe it, dude. Yeah, and they're going to show him locking up Jamar. Okay, freshman tape again. If that's one of the reasons to draft the guy because he competed against Jamar, like that's a that's a bad deal. Yeah. I'm just shocked, bro. I can't believe Un- it. Unbelievable. I'm absolutely shocked. I thought a guy like Kyle Hamilton would probably go here if he if he was going to pick a guy like this. But I'm. I'm wor- I'm lost for words, bro. Derek Stingley went number three. Look, Derek Stingley, Damn, though. Derek Stingley, they, they got a, me, bro. I yeah, can't. look, they got a hell of a player, Max. Um, our top number one corner in the draft. He, he can do everything. He can press. He can play zone, uh, man to man. One of the best feet I have seen. Uh, this guy at the age of nineteen, Max, as a true freshman, was the best player in college football when he stepped foot on the field. If he would have came out after his freshman year, he would have been a top three pick. And it's crazy. He still is. And he still is. <laughs> I'm saying, like, where's the drop off, dude? I just don't get it. Yeah. I can't freaking believe it, it man. It confirms. It confirms that I don't think it's a character thing with him. I just think it's the injuries. He had he had a couple of just <sighs> nagging injuries these last two years. The film wasn't good, but there wasn't that much film out there. He only played two games this year. The guy's talent is through the roofs. I'm going to say it again. One of my comparisons to him, he can be a Darrell Revis, Charles Woodson type player. A guy that can lock down for years to come. All pro potential. And it seems like the notion of the draft, two out of the three picks, Max, have been potential driven. Two guys that Uh, don't have much production, but this is what the draft is all about. But I would say, though, I will go with three out of three or potential because I think they're betting that Aiden can be a Bosa, a Nick Bosa. And if you think he can, you take him at two. And that's what they did. Look, Derek Stingley, man, we love the guy. And I feel like a broken record, but I'm just shocked. Like Ahmad Bell said, shout out to him. Shout out to the know-it-all's marvelous talk. I just can't believe they took this dude. It's just such a risk. If I'm going to grade it, C+. I just, I love the player, but at three... It's just risky because this type of thing gets you fired taking a corner this freaking high, this many questions, bro. And maybe it's the Caleb Farley playing in the back of my mind of just, wow, I would have taken Caleb Farley at eight last year, and he barely stepped on the field. You know what, though? As far as talent-wise. Talent lines up, one, but it's not always about talent. It's I mean, not. It's not. But I think it, it, it tells you something big that a guy like Nick Casario drafted a guy like him. That's what That's what kind of confirms it for me. Like this guy's special, and besides Kayvon, that would have been the only other guy that fits like this type of potential. But I'm 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 gonna do an A minus. It would have been an A plus if it wasn't the injuries and you know the film, the bad film the last two years. It's an A minus though. This guy's he can be an all pro dude. 